Hey everybody, Snappy Al here. As you know, <laughs> it's been about six weeks since I lost my travel buddy, Askham. And uh, so yesterday I took a trip to the Yuma Dog Pound. And um, as I knew I would, I found a a puppy. He's about, uh, he's between two and four. They don't know how old exactly. But he's got nice shiny white teeth and everything, so he's not too old. A couple of years, maybe three. And he's going to be asking him the second. His name is Max, but uh, I don't particularly like the name Max. So, uh, Brought him home, and uh, he'll be with me. We'll be alone up here for a while, some time to uh, train him. He's very lovable. He's uh, over there. Ask him. Ask him. Come here. That's a good boy. Okay. Yeah, good boy, eh? He's about 65, 70 pounds. What'd you say? Come here. You want to say hi? Hi, everybody. I got him on the lead because, uh, I don't know how he'll react uh, yet. I have to make sure that he's going to come when I call him and what have you. We got here yesterday. He uh, immediately jumped out of the van when I opened the door and took off on me. Went all the way up that road. Way up. I think he got about halfway up that hill. And I called him and he ignored me. So I thought, oh well, there goes... Uh, my adoption fee <laughs> across the desert. So I uh, I just went back to my man and I gave a whistle and nothing happened. And about 10 minutes later he comes up to my hand and nudges my hand. So I guess uh, he just wanted to scout around. I think he just wanted to scout around the area. And then he came back, so I I fed him. <laughs> anyway. That's the new boy there. Ask him the second. I'm going to start giving him a training routine and I don't like him to be on leash at all. Of course, there's, there's times when I have to. And I will. But, um, basically, I like to let them, my dogs roam free. As long as they uh, come when they're called. Which is the most important thing. And, uh, he's very friendly with humans. But he's very protective. Somebody came by yesterday walking by and he barked at him and barked at him and growled at him and everything but uh, when I came out and went up beside him and let the person come over and uh, petted him and he, he appreciated it so he's friendly he's just a guard dog I guess at heart which all, all German Shepherds are pretty much It's a nice spot. I like it here. We'll get some training in. I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. The Yuma Humane Society, they have four buildings with dogs in them. 
um, an awful lot of pit bulls. They had uh, two German Shepherds, I think actually three German Shepherds, but um, one was in the clinic, probably getting uh, neutered. So I never got to see that one. But out of the two, this boy seemed to be the friendliest uh, immediately. He, uh, he warmed up to me pretty quick. And of course, uh, sleeping in the, uh, the vehicle over there, um, I've got my bed and then one of the benches I put a blanket on and he slept on the bench. And he came over and he laid out at, on the foot of my bed as well. So he snuggled up. He's, he's, a, he's a good boy. I was very surprised. Uh, um, it, everything included the adoption and the, you know the rabies, the examination, and everything. All, all everything they did. Um, the adoption fee was only sixty dollars, and uh, they didn't even charge me tax on that. It was sixty dollars, including tax. And it would have been another thirteen dollars they said for the uh, license, but since um, I'm not a Yuma resident, uh, they didn't uh, require the license. So that was uh, really pleasant. That would have cost probably about four hundred bucks back home in Ontario. I know Askham was around two hundred dollars. That was ten years ago or so. So. Um, I'm sure it's it's probably around 400 now. So for 60 bucks in Yuma, Arizona, you can adopt a dog. It's just pretty nice.